KSI versus Tommy Fury. I just watched it. It's 740. Um, well, this is obviously like EST or E something D. I don't fucking, I don't know. It changes depending on it, daylight savings. Um, but I'm just going to call it EST. So 7 p.m. E- 740 EST. Uh, the fight was at 2 for me. So it was at 2 p.m. Um, so I just got finished watching the KSI and Tommy Fury fight. I think it was a robbery. I say that because KSI 100% won the first three rounds. And he won without the points being deducted. I think he won without the point being deducted. So that means that if it was 10-9 in the second round going to KSI, then it should have been 8-10. Or it should have been 10-8. It doesn't matter. It it should have been down two points for Tommy. So he would have been at 8 and KSI would have been at 10. Which would have given him the win but apparently the judges thought the second round was a draw um before the point got deducted so i think they gave it they gave it a draw and then they minus the point which gave it to ksi but tommy did so much illegal shit he hit after the bell he hit when he was leaving the clinch he hit back of the head a lot. <laughs> so you have to think, why was only one point deducted? So when Logan hits KSI on the ground, he gets two points deducted. Whenever he just hits him falling down. But Tommy doesn't get multiple points deducted when he kept hitting KSI in the back of the head. What? What? doesn't make any fucking sense. I think more points should have got deducted. Now, even if you say that Tommy Fury obviously won that fight, maybe you, you're blind. I don't know. Um, let's just say you're blind and you believe that Tommy Fury won that fight. Um, what about all the illegal things? You know what I mean? I, I don't think one point that's I don't think only one point should have gotten deducted. And I think if you look over the footage, he did so much more shit to get a point taken away and didn't. Right? But let's say you are blind and you ignore what Tommy did. It should have at least been a draw. I don't I don't think there's any conceivable future where Tommy should have won. I think this is like a once in a million lifetime where it was so fucking bullshit that there's no way. And it was said, I think after the fight or something, that Tommy threw 12 or Tommy landed 12 jabs the entire six round fight. 12 jabs. And KSI was dodging a lot of the punches. Maybe the 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 um the judges were looking at it and said, "Oh, KSI got hit by that punch," instead of he slipped that punch. Maybe that could have been possible. But I mean, when you add in rabbit punches and everything, I don't know. I think it should have been a draw. At most, it should have been a draw. Maybe more rare KSI should have won. But it should have definitely been a draw. Uh, I don't think Tommy won that fight at all. Um, he and, and just the amount of dirty shit he was doing for only one point to get deducted. I mean, it's so, it's so obviously bullshit when he does that much bullshit. And it's like noticeable shit. It's not like he accidentally hit him in the back of the head. Once you do that shit like four times, at that point, man, you got to change something. <laughs> when you do it like four times, you get warned about doing it. You get a point taken away and then you still do it. What? I don't know. But that's my thoughts on the main event. Co-main event. Well, 
Logan won, and Dylan's a dumbass and a bitch. I think it was almost obvious that Dylan was a bitch coming into this fight because he was talking so much shit, but then when he actually got into the ring, he threw a total of like 12 punches. Logan landed like 81 punches, or th maybe not landed, but he threw 81 punches, and I I think at most, Logan like 6X'd him, pause on that by the way, I don't know how that sounds, six times to him, English, it doesn't matter, so obviously Logan won, and it actually ended in a DQ, because Dylan decided he wanted to try to go for a guillotine, and he missed the guillotine. And in the fight, he went for a takedown and stuffed the takedown. So if anything, all this bullshit that Dylan was saying about being a real fighter and not even being able to actually take um, Logan down and not being able to catch him in a guillotine. Um, I thought you said that that was the real fight and you couldn't catch him in anything. Did you forget that Logan actually trained wrestling when he was in high school? Did you just forget that that happened? Did you just not know? Like, how the... F <laughs> I don't know. It, it was so funny watching it, too. Because Dylan was throwing, like, no punches and didn't land shit and was just getting fucked up the entire fight. And then, at the very last second, then he wants to, like throw punches after the bell and like try to rush um logan it was just fucking stupid obviously you know big props to logan he beat dylan's ass and dylan can't say anything he's gonna talk shit but he got his ass so notably beat and landed so little punches that <laughs> they're it was so stupid. It, it, my parents, me and my parents um, were watching it. My brother was watching it as well. My brother doesn't live with me, but that's a long story. So he came over um, and we were watching the fights. And during the Logan fight, um, my parents were like, wow, this guy's a fucking pussy. <laughs> they were saying he was like a wussy because he wasn't throwing any punches. And he was just like, he was just like, he was... He wasn't backing up a lot, but he wasn't throwing anything. And although a lot of those punches did land, even though he was holding his guard up, they didn't hit the guard. Like, they landed. They went through the guard. So, like, what was what was Dylan trying to prove? And then going to try to fight at the very end. Also, my parents agreed that KSI got robbed. Um, so, it wasn't just me. <laughs> It wasn't just me who thought the shit was robbed. My brother as well thought it was a robbery. Um, my mom was the only one that didn't think it was a robbery because she was rooting for Tommy. Um, you also have to think my mom doesn't know about boxing. Um, they just watched it and are entertained by people beating the shit out of each other. Like me, but I know the fighters. Um, let's just go down the card. I'm obviously going to, I obviously already started on the main and the co-main. My voice is kind of destroyed, but that was, that's for other reasons. It's because when I'm talking like, like this, my throat was already hurting because I was talking in there for a few hours. So I also haven't really had anything to drink for a while, but, um, so my throat's a little messed up. Ariel Hawani, his his voice was fucked up by the end <laughs> it's kind of funny hearing him talk after that shit but um whatever slim versus salt poppy um i'd say it was a kind of bad performance by salt poppy salt poppy was winning the first few rounds and then he he just stopped like throwing punches and just held up his guard it was so sad to see. If anything, that's what should have happened with, with Dylan. Dylan should have been, like, with the um, Salt Poppy shit where they end the fight because he isn't throwing anything. He's just standing there. 
Um, but Saul Poppy on a two-fight losing streak, I believe. Um, Slim showing that he's still one of the best uh, in the influencer boxing scene. Um, and although, let's just I'm just going to say this. Although Tommy did say that he's going to destroy influencer boxing, um, although it does go down as a win for Tommy, in everybody else's minds, that just shows how close the gap is between influencer boxing and real boxing. Because Tommy, in his himself, he says he's a real boxer, right? But he only wins decisions. He knocked out, what, like one or a few guys, and that was early on in his career. He couldn't lock, knock out Jake. He couldn't knock out KSI. He didn't even knock down KSI. I don't think he knocked down Jake either. So if anything, like... This just shows how close the gap is for influencer boxing to regular boxing. And to anybody saying that influencer boxing is not boxing or is not as good as boxing, well, this just proves you wrong. Because although he won, yes, against KSI and Jake, he won by decision, and he won a very close decision. And when you win a close decision, that means that it could have went either way. And since he did that twice, this just shows how close the gap is. So this didn't end influencer boxing. As much as Tommy wants to think he end, ended influencer boxing, you only revived it. You only gave it more hype to show how good these fighters are. To only lose by a decision and not get KO'd by a quote-unquote real boxer? By a quote-unquote real boxer? Sorry, I wanted to repeat. I have a thing when I record videos is I repeat stuff. If, like, my voice gives out while I'm saying it or, like, I fuck it up. Um, so, yeah, we'll go down the list. Uh, yeah, Slim, Salt Poppy. Um, big respect to Slim. Uh, he showed that he can come back. And I thought his his speech was a little mediocre by rap like basically rhyming a little little cringy, but whatever uh what was before that oh shit um Dean the great versus uh sharks um I think that's his name sharks. I guess I could just look at the card on my phone um, since I did watch the fights. I just want to know exactly um, every, like, I just want to know, like, every fighter's, um, like, exactly when they fought. So let me look up the prime card. Why? Full lineup. There we go. So I'm... Okay, uh, Dean the Great versus Walid Sharks. Uh, I think Walid did pretty good in the early rounds, but Dean was just so powerful. Um, in the other, like every other round, other than the first one, he was just fucking landing shots on Sharks. Um, and although Walid did show heart in the last round, and Dean was definitely stumbling and and was definitely rocked in the last round um he couldn't get the finish so of course um big win for dean the great uh even this was a rematch so he's just proving that there should not be a trilogy even though this fight was close towards the end um i think overall dean could repeat everything that he did in this fight over and over again because he he's just in my mind he's you know, he's, he's a very good boxer. So then we go down again. King Kenny versus Anthony Taylor. I think it was kind of obvious that Anthony Taylor won this fight. Uh, King Kenny just couldn't land anything. Um, because although Anthony Taylor's fighting style was fucking boring, it got him the win, which I guess all, is the only thing that really matters to him. Um, he was just, you know, throwing, getting in the clinch, throwing, getting, the, and, and uh, although that does get a little boring, it, that's exactly pretty much what happened in the main event. So, I can't really talk shit about him too much. Uh, I feel like King Kenny should have brought a lot more to the table because you're fighting Anthony Taylor. I mean, come on, guys. <laughs> 
Anthony Taylor, I feel like at this point, is like the gateway for influencer boxing. If you beat Anthony Taylor, you go up to the top dogs. If you don't beat him, then you go back to the prelims is the way I'm going to see it. But I feel like King Kenny should have definitely shown a lot more heart and should have definitely shown a lot more um, of what he can do. And I feel like a lot of... A lot of the problems with these fights is they don't release the gas tank at the end. So at the end of the fight, the last 10 seconds, most of the fighters, they're thinking, okay, this is the end of the fight. I can just chill. But realistically, you should say, okay, I want to throw as many punches as possible in this last 10 seconds. Um, now, I don't know if they have the sticks. I heard the sticks sometimes, and then the other times I didn't hear, hear the sticks clacking together. So I don't know if every time they had the sticks, but I think if you know it's the last round, you kind of should go all out. Um, maybe that's just the viewer in me coming out. But uh, yeah, I mean, King Kenny obviously beaten. Uh, I don't think it was close. It wasn't a close fight, and it was definitely in Anthony Taylor's um, bag. It was, it was definitely definitely in the bag. For Anthony Taylor. I, sorry, I can't really speak that well right now. Um, Winderson Nunez versus my mate Nate. Um, my mate Nate, man, he was fucking... In the first few rounds, he was really showing a lot to Nunez. And Nunez still couldn't, like, do anything to my mate Nate. My mate Nate was just so, like much bigger or not bigger but taller and his reach was so much longer that you know um winderson couldn't really do much um but for my mate nate this kind of shows that he should be up there with some people um do i think he's the greatest in the scene of course not but whatever with that but big win for my mate nate Nick Lamau and Alex Wasabi versus Pineda and B. Dave. So this was a draw. And yeah, it did look like a fucking draw. There were some rounds where, like, where, you know, Pineda was getting fucked up. But then, it, you know, B. Dave was fucking people. Up. Like, it was weird. Um, it was a draw. I don't really disagree with that. I am very disappointed in Pineda and B. Dave. Um, but Alex Wasabi did show heart. Although, you know, his smile quickly faded when he got knocked down and then rocked a few times. So, you know, whatever with that. All right, let's keep going down. So this is the prelims. Ed Matthews versus Swarms. I don't know what happened really, but... I, I Swarms got hit with a left hook, fell down, and then his uh, ankle or something um, like broke or um, was injured, so he couldn't really get back up. Uh, so unfortunately, you know, Swarms with the uh, weird record and shit. Um, but <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. He could have done. He could have done a lot better. Um, but of course, big win for Ed Matthews. Let's keep going down. Astrid Webb versus Alexia. This was a title fight, and Alexia and Astrid were both kind of doing the same thing, which is not boxing <laughs> i don't okay so i'm watching this fight i'm expecting them to be throwing fucking hands right prove that they're the superiors right prove that they have experience or you know um astrid has experience and then she just kind of threw like a fucking middle schooler like maybe i shouldn't say that maybe they could fuck me up but i highly doubt it i think they're like five three um i'm not saying that i could beat them in a fight i'm just saying that the way they fought i was not impressed i was not impressed maybe i'm just a sexist horrible person 
but let's be honest um it was exciting kind of but i don't think astrid should have won if anything by pure volume alexia should have won but i don't i don't know man i don't really give a shit about these prelims i mainly cared about the main card Chase Demore versus Tempo Arts. I think Chase won. I'm not 100% sure. Um, but SX versus DTG, I didn't even really watch, so I can't really tell you about that fight. But Chase Demore versus Tempo Arts. This was so early that I don't really remember it too much. Um, I believe that Chase Demore won. No, he didn't. He didn't. He didn't. It was... It was a uh, tempo. So people thought that Chase uh, Chase won. Um, it was definitely kind of a close fight. I don't know. I feel like there was a lot of robberies with these. Some of them were obvious one-sided like bullshit. But other times, uh, Alexia versus Astrid. I think that one went to Alexia. And I think Alexia was kind of robbed. Um chase demore versus tempo i think i think chase was definitely robbed uh so apparently a lot of robberies on the card <laughs> apparently the only way you can win in the eyes of these judges and not get robbed is by absolutely destroying your opponent um or just obviously landing a fuck ton more strikes like logan did um and like uh fuck was his name anthony taylor did now the my mate Nate fight that one was competitive but I think my mate Nate was the obvious winner. But yeah, that's uh that's the prime card. Um and my opinions on the fights. So the U a UFC event happened today as well. I did not watch it. I think it's just now really starting. It started like an hour ago when I'm recording this, so not all the fights have happened. Where the main card started at 7. Um, the other one started a little earlier. I think they started at 4. But uh, let's actually check up on the UFC. And we'll see um, what happened. So I'm going to Google UFC. Yeah, uh, they haven't made it. Oh. Did something happen with Edson Barboza? Um... Because the fights got moved. So the main... Oh, never mind. Sorry, sorry, guys, sorry. I, I, it's, it's weird. The UFC tab fucks up sometimes and doesn't show you the main event sometimes. So it looks like the co-main event's the main event. You have to press show more. I don't know if that's just with my phone, but it kind of pisses me off. So Edson Barboza hasn't fought yet. Um, doesn't have a great record, I'll be honest. But uh, Andre Petroski and Michael Pereira. Pereira. Um, KO for Michael Pereira in the round one. Christian Rodriguez won against Cameron Sayman like, uh, with decision. Prelim, submission, decision. Uh, Terrence McKinney got a... Uh, KO slash TKO 20 seconds into round number one, so I'm sure I'll see him again. Uh, and then the rest were just decisions in the prelims, except for the round three submission that Darren Elkins got. Now, I don't really know who any of these people are, but next week I'm very excited. UFC 294. Um, very excited for those fights. Uh, Andre Volk. I don't know why I said Andre. I, th I, th I was thinking of Andre Arlovsky. For some reason. I don't know why. Um, but. Main card. Uh, Kamaru Usman versus Hamzat Shemaev. That's going to be a crazy fucking fight. Hamzat obviously going to win though. Islam versus Alexander Volkanovsky. I'm not used to calling him Alexander. But I mean his name is the great. Isn't it? I don't know. Alexander the Great Volkanovsky, I think so. And then Islam. Islam's probably going to win again. But it was a very competitive fight. So the first time around. So it could go either way again. Um, 
unlike, you know, uh, Charles Oliveira getting finished against Islam, where you could say that, oh, that's just going to happen again. With this fight, you can't really say that Islam's going to win again when it was that close of a fight the first time. Um, and people say that, you know, Volkanovski got robbed. I kind of think so as well, but whatever, right? Um, yeah, I'm very excited for that. But, uh, yeah. Yeah. So I am going to go chill, uh, calm my voice, not use it as much because holy shit, it hurts um, to talk, kind of, it's, how do I explain this? It's kind of just like a pressure directly on my like fucking um, Adam's apple is the way that I'm going to describe it. It's like pressure and it fucking hurts, but uh, yeah. That's my th- my thoughts on the fights. Um, KSI probably won't get a rematch, but you know damn well people are going to clown him. Um, he didn't get knocked out, though, so you can't really clown him that much. Uh, just like you can't really clown Jake when he lost because it was by decision. It ain't really shit. Uh, anyway, see you guys in the next episode. Peace.